Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, April and Jen here, and we are looking at another Smart Spine Protocol. I know you're not getting tired of it. I know you love it. And we're looking at the cervical hammock. And this is just a brilliant one. So it, it really acts as the teacher's third hand. So if you can recall the zero balance one we did, a little bit like that. Um, but the teacher, you're not having to bring your hands into the smart spine. And the client can feel this wonderful traction, the support at the back of the head. And again, helping to correct that um, head forward shear waking up these muscles in the front of the neck. And then we can add some core challenges into this. So we're gonna organize April first. So she has the tractioning of the long leg springs and the smart spine. We have a warm um, triangle here at the chest and then a warm globe at her belly. So feet and legs are parallel. So on her exhale, I want her to curl her pelvis back towards her face. And then for April, I want her to really recognize the weight in her mid back. So I want her to keep her tail up towards the ceiling and take a few more inhales and exhales to really allow the weight to go down, down, down into the carriage at her mid back. Inhale and exhale. Just get really heavy in the back of the solar plexus and the back of the lungs. Now, keeping that on her next exhale, I want her to roll her pelvis back to neutral. So as she rolls her pelvis back to neutral, I want to see a very nice crease in the front of the hip. Yes, keep going. And I want, her, I want to see that the tail and the, yes, keep going. Tail and the pubic bone drop down, and I'm giving her a little bit of feedback with my hand arm on her knees, like I'm trying to slide her kneecaps into the back of her pelvis, and that looks much better for her, for her neutral pelvis. And then take a deep inhale, exhale, and roll your pelvis back. Good, feel the opposition between your sternum ribs, back of the head and neck and then keep the weight at the back of your rib cage and massage the pelvis around your femur heads. So you really feel your femur heads drop down and back, creasing at the front of the hips. Allow your tail and pubic bone to reach down between the legs. Very good. And then once she has this feeling, I want her to keep this and let's add a leg slide onto this. So I'm gonna put a towel underneath the foot and everything stays as is. She takes an inhale and then on the exhale, she starts to dig her right heel into the carriage and she slowly starts to lengthen the leg. Thinking about the opposition of the heel and the upper inner thigh, femur injecting into the hip socket without moving the pelvis. She takes a deep inhale, and then on the exhale, creases at the hip, the knee bends, thinking about that femur dropping down and back again, and she can reinforce pubic bone tail down towards the carriage as the leg comes in. Good, so settling herself in the center, and let's do it again with that leg. So hold on for one second. Let's do, keep your foot there, and then on the exhale, roll your pelvis back towards your face. Good, take a deep inhale, and then on your exhale, roll your pelvis forward and really think about drinking the legs deeper and deeper into your pelvis, creating that nice crease at the front of the hip. Great, now keep that steady pelvis, inhale, prepare, exhale and digging the heel and reaching out to a slow long leg. As she's lengthening the leg, she's thinking about the opposition that the cervical hammock is giving her. Take a deep inhale, and then start to bend the knee first, digging the heel in, and then creasing at the front of the hip. Think about tail sitting bones looking down and breathing into that wide back of your body. Great, yeah, beautiful.
That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.